Hello, welcome to another episode of the GNPS. It's your boy, Ucheneral Giniela. And I'm out here with my next, 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 next guest. <laughs> oh, before we go too far, Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. Thanks for sticking with us throughout the whole of 2019. I'd like to appreciate all the subscribers um, all across the p- different platforms where you find this podcast. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now. I'm serious about that. We're not starting this podcast before you subscribe. <laughs> Ten, nine. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting across <laughs> me is my next guest. She goes by the name of MJ Summers, the hey. girl with the crooked smile. Hey, what it do? Welcome. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. <laughs> what it do? What it does? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Make it do what it does, cause it is what it is. <laughs> uh, how does it feel to be, the, be our first guest for 2020? I'm honored. I'm honored. I'm wow. excited. It feels amazing. And for people that don't know, you are <coughs> quite an astute a follower of this podcast. Of course. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of the GNPS. Top five 2019 episodes for you. For top MJ five. Sun. Yeah. Let's uh, put you on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> See how much you know about this podcast. Um, Yo. No, but I don't like ranking people because no, now it's like it's, it doesn't have to be any order, just five in no particular order. Yeah, five um, that come to the top of your mind right now. Saint Cloud. Oh, um, I'm okay. absolutely with my homeboy James as well. Jim and Paul James. Yeah. Um, Lungi's Corner. I really like do Skindy as well. Yeah. There was um, who's the guy who was a graffiti artist? Oh, that's I forgot his that's name. Kevin. Yeah, Cave Seven, my yeah. co-host. That was that was. He was four. supposed to be here, supposed to be with us, but oh, it's busy here. Yeah, he he's also. Mm. Oh, and I'm gonna have to give it to Tiny as well. So <laughs> 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 was like, you know what it is, twenty twenty vision. <laughs> okay, I guess he didn't. He missed that one. He oh. did. He did. Um, for people that don't know, who is MJ Summers? Uh, where um, did you grow up? Uh, MJ Summers is uh, an R&B singer-songwriter who grew up here in Durban. Big music enthusiast, big music listener, music lover. Um, yeah, the works, the works of the arts. Um, where, where do you live? And I know you stay here in Durban. Which part of Durban are you from? Um, I live in Amanzim I grew up a little bit in in Imlazi as well. Mm. Um, I'd live with my my grandmother for like a while. I still visit her from like time to time. Um, yeah, uh, but I live in Amanzim currently with my parents. No, okay. Yeah. Um, your father is a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. We got Shout a out to all the PKs <laughs> worldwide, <laughs> worldwide. <laughs> Shout out to all the PKs. So you know, people get so intimidated as soon as you. Oh, you're a PK. Oh my god. So how did do, how does it work <laughs> being an R and B artist uh, and a PK? Yeah, and your father is a pastor. <laughs> you know what? Um, I think all in all. Mm. My uh, my father is aware that uh, God wouldn't have given me this gift yeah. to use it in a way I see what it's going to be fulfilling. So, yeah, and Nano Gutsi, it's just all about having understanding parents and just them knowing your dream and them seeing... Excuse me. Excuse us. Excuse us. Them just <laughs> <laughs> my them bad, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> and them just um having that sense of understanding that you're trying to, you know, take your own path, mm. make your own decisions as you go. So I mean they are quite strict and they're very, very involved in my life. But I I, I think they're they're understanding that, you know, R and B is where my heart is, mm. where the passion is. I remember you, you you told me a story about uh, the the time when you had to go perform late at night. <laughs> yes. And can you just tell can you just tell people there how that went about? Um. <laughs> so uh, there's an event in Durban, a very well known event in Durban called Wine Wednesday. Yeah. Shout out to Doc Durban. Shout out to Doc Durban. Shout and out to Sakile. Shout out to the warehouse. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. Um, so I had I had to do a performance, and I secretly went to um, like not necessarily audition, but they um, quite thankfully they knew of me, mm. and they were like, "Oh, okay, we'd like to actually see you live with the band and and see if you know that's gonna work out." And so I secretly went. <laughs> <laughs> no, knowing, I, very, I, knowing very well that uh, you would have issues. Issues, <laughs> but you know what? I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna take this risk, and yeah, I mean, a lot of artists will tell you because they've taken a lot of risks, mm. and I think those are one of the risks. And they, they loved the performance. They loved uh, the band. They, they just loved me in in general. And they were like, okay, cool. You're gonna be performing this Wednesday. I'm like, well, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> oh, hold up, whoa. <laughs> I was like, here's the thing. I have a curfew. So if I tell my pops that I'm performing, because you know I was performing anyways, but my curfew would be like 10 o'clock, 10, 9. Yo. So and that's uh, like when things are getting started. <laughs> things don't even get started at that time, <laughs> especially if it's an, it's an exclusive event like Wine Wednesday. Mm. So um, my performance had to be postponed to the following week because they decided, you know, you know what? We want to come to your house. We want to ask your dad for permission properly. Um, we want to make him aware of the potential that you have. And it was, it was a good conversation. It was mm. a very productive. It was long, but it was productive. Everyone was listening to each other. And yeah, by the grace of God, my father agreed. Wow. And so whenever it's time for me to perform, it wouldn't necessarily be a hassle. Transport would be there. My band would be sorted. Rehearsals were okay, you know? Mm. So you basically had a whole scenario where it's basically like it was all tail. It was so, it was so <laughs> weird because it was like, but like, I know to come up and take it in and be like, ah, I could have gone through. So I tell it so basically. Yeah. It was this close. <laughs> it was this close. But um, I'm very thankful that uh, Usakil and Mr. Houdini, Dog Durbin, and um, one of my band members, who Charles and Dagan, as well as um, my uncle, um, they were very understanding and they were willing to like speak to him. Yeah. Because it's crazy. That's another crazy thing. Um, that's Uguti, I'm, I'm very grateful that I have people that I work with and people who I also love dearly, like my family and friends, who are able to see so much potential in me, even when I fail to see it in myself. Mm. And even when I can't fight, they fight for me. Yeah. But um, how does it feel to have the support of your parents? Um, you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful for it. Because mm. there's a lot of people who, well, not necessarily people but there's a lot of creatives who have parents that don't approve and 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 um my parents as well they're very v they're very strict they're not too supportive about it because they they also have like their rigid aspects mm. but um they're understanding in certain situations they understand that i have a song um they understand that uh you know, now I seldom get radio interviews or now I'm on a podcast or... Shout out. Shout out to JNPS. <laughs> Mom and dad, please subscribe. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> uh, and he will. And yeah. he will. That's the, that's the nice part. Um, but he obviously still wants me to get, you know, educated mm -hmm. and make the right choices. That's yeah. why it's very, very strict and involved in my life. Like you, you, you're doing your final year this year, right? Yes. Thankfully, uh, yo guys. In I in supply chain. I'm in, in supply chain. In yeah. supply chain at Mancosa. I'm doing my final year. Uh, yeah, I was saying, I'm going to graduate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very very soon, because things can get a bit tough. But yeah. Mm. But yeah. but I mean, you you made it through last year, so. I did. Hey, thank thankfully, like yo, s my second semester was actually a lot. Mm. But yeah, but now I'm, I'm free. I know how to like handle things a bit more mm. in terms of uh, academia. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm going to have a, a very fruitful year mm. in terms of my academics. And as much as I'm like, oh, it's going to be hard. Nothing worth having comes easy. Yeah. Anyways. 
Um, you know, since this being your final year at school, um. I know most people like to dumb down on things, you mm. know, just want to decrease more on other things that they're doing and just focus on, on one thing mm. when they're at the final year. Is it going to be the same case for MJ or you, you're still going to... I'm still I'm I'm still balance. gonna I'm still gonna balance out um everything. I'm gonna balance it out as best as I possibly can because I love music. Um and music is my first love. I'll always pursue it no matter what, no matter without any sense of condition. But I also do believe in getting educated and just being knowledgeable. None of I wanna encourage um, other girls, I want to be that that beacon that uh, is an influence to other young black girls and just show them that, you know, maybe sometimes you may hate school or whatever, but education is, is important in its own sense because no one can take that away from you mm. once you've actually obtained it. So let's say now, after you graduate, you, you're in a catch-22 situation, catch situation mm. where... You've been offered a job, and at the same time you got the music here. Um, have you have you thought about that? I have, I have, and I've always said to myself, it will always depend. Like I'm not even gonna lie, it will depend on where I'm at financially in mm. terms of my music career. Mm. Um, if I'm not where I want to be financially, then I would gladly take the job. Mm. But obviously, I'm still going to balance it out. I'm still going to be in studio because, like I said, music is my first love. Mm. Um, and it, it also wouldn't be logical for me to just drop everything, everything. like that. Because I'm, I'm still going to... Because, like I said, if I'm not where I am financially in terms of my music, it's, gonna, it's not going to make sense because I'm still going to have to fund certain things in terms of my music and pay for certain shows or whatever. So that job will also be helping me out in that aspect. Mm. Um, last year you had one single out. Mm. Too good for you. <coughs> too good for that. Oh, too good for that. Featuring Sorry, Julio Sound. And then you were also on Jamapal James's EP. Yes. Uh, Sunkissed. We are on Sunkissed. Amazing EP on a song called uh, Melanin. Mm. Yeah. Um, and off of that, have you decided like what? Because I mean, if you put those two <laughs> songs side by side, uh -huh. we, we get two different elements or aspects of MJ. Mm. Um, I, I so get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. So uh, my question is, are we, is, is that how it's going to be? You, you're going to give us different uh, aspects, different aspects of MJ all at once or? Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of soulful music, there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of soul to cover, you know, because um, even in the song Melanin in the EP Sunkissed, uh, the song was more of like a Caribbean vibe, very mm. reggae, yeah. but very Afrobeat, and, but it was soulistic. Um, and it was very, it had a touch of R&B. So, yeah, I'm always going to be like an R&B head or an R&B lover. I'm always going to be there, like soulful music. Mm. Mm. Uh, so you're going to be getting different aspects of MJ within the soulful music. We realm. don't mind. We don't <laughs> mind. Go. Bring it on. Bring it on. Still in the mask Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we at inside one of the <laughs> conversations we've had, <laughs> you did say you I do. I love you would, you would be willing to collaborate. Yes, I would, because you get you get songs like um, I think a very good example is with Chav, mm. and he has a beautiful, beautiful song from his album clearly called Eweni. Mm. That track is very soulful very r&b but it's yeah. not just for neck but even the sense of flow and the rhythm it's very maskandi-esque because yeah. and he's got like my p um the, the right balance in terms yes, of the features yes he's got he's got uh. the the nicest balance ever so yeah i'd be i'd definitely be willing to feature someone mm. i love maskandi I'm very, very vocal about it. Yeah. I genuinely enjoy it. So, so yeah, I, I you know, you know, you know, you're not bummed out that. <laughs> 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 I 
<laughs> oh, honestly, I don't know. That's honestly, I thought, <laughs> I, I thought, you know, at almost as it's 12, we're probably going to be like, I need to. So it's a lot. <laughs> I, I, I thought, because nobody was really sure yeah. about to see which song was going to be song of the year. Mm. But um, yeah, I wasn't really bummed out. Um, I feel like he's achieved a lot in uh, the year. When you when you make your music, do you like uh, sit down and consider like, okay, I want I want this to be played on radio, or um, does that come into mind when you make your music? I go with most of the time. I go with feeling. Mm. So if something feels right, you know, I know that um, at the end of the day, uh, whatever you write or whatever you produce, it you have to relate it to other people, and it has to you need to get your message across the best way you can. Yeah. But I feel like in the midst of that, I try to just balance everything out in terms of it feeling right to me. Because mm. you're going to die if you're going to constantly try to do something for some sort of validation. <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that I don't care about the people who do follow me, people mm. who are my... Uh, my fans, if that's safe to say. Well, yeah, you, you, <laughs> you are just building a fan base, which I think I you am. have now. Yeah, I am. I'm still you, building it. You wouldn't be performing at all these venues. Yeah, okay, true. Fair enough. Mm. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely going to be making good music. Mm. Um, but it, it has to be something that feels right to me. So whenever I do make music, it has to be like, would I listen to this? Mm. Um, like uh, if you look at the well let's talk about Durban mm. more specifically in terms of female artists mm. um, in any genre it doesn't matter mm. who are based here um, that you'd love to work with uh, can you mention any uh, Rhea Black mm. definitely I'd love to work with Rhea Black um, who else from Durban but I mean, there's a lot of female underground female artists besides th that are that are not just only from Durban that I'd love to work with, mm. um, like D Koala, she's an amazing amazing MC. Um, Blackbird, I'd love to work with Blackbird. She's an amazing amazing vocalist. Um, Caramel sourcing as well. She was actually also in Sunkist. Yeah. Um, yeah. There's quite there's quite a lot. You know when there's a lot of people and you you can't really you, you don't know you don't want to live out any names. You know what I mean? Yeah. But th there's there's quite a lot. Mm. Oh, do you think we are we striking the balance as far as male and female artists is um, concerned in the, in the SA South African music industry? Um I think I think more women are needed. <coughs> I feel like women are being given the shine a bit more and the uh, being allowed to, as Zozi would say, take up space. But I feel like uh, uh, there should be a, a lot more artists. I feel like there's so many more creatives, female creatives that have so much to give and we have so much to receive from them. Mm. Um, and when that time comes, it will. No. It will. And, uh, hey, the time is now. <laughs> that's that's that's, that's absolutely on. right. Yeah, the <laughs> time the time is it actually now. It has to happen now. It has to happen. Uh, do you do you think that um, going forward, like I mean, mm. we we started we're starting off twenty twenty, and if you look at the way things are, I mean, also judging from the this whole song of the year debacle, um, do you think? Is that helping our music industry, or what? Like the the. I mean, this whole competition. Like everyone is. Um, I, I, the only I thing that that most people care about is like. I just. This is my opinion. Yeah. From where I'm standing, it's like. Um, everyone is on the tip of competing for now. Mm. No one thinks long term. Long like term. Well, not yeah. no one. Well. There are people that are thinking long term, but like majority is focused. So on in terms now. of like timeless music, yeah, and yes. yeah. I mean, there there are artists who who made timeless music, 
there are artists who intend on making timeless music, but it ends up not happening because mm. you never really know the response of the audience. I feel like in Tenjalo uh, lies on the audience. But um, in terms of the debacle, I wouldn't necessarily call it like a debacle or anything. I think it's just, I always view music as a sport mm. and there's nothing wrong with a little healthy competition there's nothing uh, there's nothing wrong because it's like <coughs> even if one wins it's like oh we're still all cool we're still all gonna work together it's just the problem comes where um other artists think i think i've, I've said this to you many times because i pray this never happens to me is when other artists feel oh no uh the presence of my bag is the absence of your own and if i get my bag you're not gonna get yours when it's not that, it's just good old healthy competition. It's a good sport, you know. Um, I have like, I have homies who are rappers, and they 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 stay competing. Wait, sorry, sorry, MJ, Tiny, uh, please switch off the aircon, dog. I think it's coming on the mic. I can pick it up. What do you do, boo boo? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank. So yeah, I think that's where the problem comes in. Uti, yeah, well, some other artists get this impression of what you know, um, me achieving means that you won't. That's the only time, mm. But there's nothing wrong with good old healthy competition. It's like a sport. Mm. There's nothing wrong with it. You're absolutely right. Mm. My God, why do we keep hearing this noise? Okay, never mind. If you're listening, please bear with us. Um, I don't know what's happening today. <laughs> okay, it's gone. Just oh, okay. I think it's better. I think yeah. it's your mic. Yeah. It's your mic. It's the feedback. Yeah. Okay. Now we saw it now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Face it in that di- tiny. <laughs> in that tiny. Di- <laughs> yeah, that's better. That better? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's still the yeah oh yeah. yeah keep Wait, it like keep that keep it like that no oh, okay it's actually okay, fine yeah, now it's fine, it's fine. Now. yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's part of life people it's part of life one day we're gonna be in the studio we won't have such problems anyway sure. but nah you gotta bear with this bear with us come Fury. on we've got MJ here. <laughs> you know <laughs> show some respect <laughs> <laughs> so um the music when did it start for you um you know, when didn't it start <laughs> you, <laughs> like you were born singing were you like <laughs> instead of crying <laughs> i mean it's just it's something that's always been around me um everyone in my family can sing and most people I wish I was in your family. Because oh. <laughs> no, I stuck. Most people are instrumentalists. Even my dad, I always tell people my dad actually sounds like Luther Vandross. It's just he just didn't pursue the career. Imagine that you should fit in. <laughs> I also sound like Luther Vandross. Okay, oh, okay, Tiny. Okay. okay, Tiny. We hear All you. Right. We hear you. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Tiny Luther. <laughs> tiny Luther. <Okay. laughs> <laughs> He's not uh, laughing. I told you. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, dog. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, it's always been something that's been around my mother's side of the family and my dad's side of the family. Mm. Um, even in my singing, a lot of people are like, oh, you know, you sound really good. And then you get my, my family who will give me like, like, oh, my man, you know, oh, and some of my cousins, they'll mm. give me like constructive criticism. They're like, mm, you know, you could have harmonized there. And okay. You could have added this note over here, and your tone over here was. Nah, 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 nah. And we'll be like, oh, okay, cool. Now I understand what they're saying. Just so I'm just highlighting what I've always been around um, vocalists and instrumentalists and musicians and people who, you know. So it would have been weird for me to like not do it. Mm. So writing comes naturally. It's like second nature. Um, in terms of writing, I started. I decided to write for myself when I was in primary. I even remember the first song I wrote. I think I was in grade four. Okay, what's the what's the title of the song? Uh, when is it coming the ti- out? The title? No, it's never going to come out. <laughs> oh, God forbid! <laughs> <laughs> 
God forbid that song comes out. But is, it was is it that bad? Well, compared to what I've done now, okay. I, I, w- I would never. But it was called My Heart is Empty. Imagine at wow. 10 years, at at ten ten years. years old. You but your, it's your heart is empty from what? No, what, what? that's the that's <laughs> the thing. Like it was, it's it's always been so, like crazy in terms of songwriting. Because I've always I've always been an R and B head and, mm. a, and a soul head. I've always loved that kind of music. It just it chose me. So um, I I understood the stories. That's why I'm saying it chose me because it it spoke to me. Um, that's why even with songs like my heart is empty from when I was in grade ten. <laughs> Um, I'm able to write about everything and anything because even in some of the music that I'm going to be releasing in in this year. Yeah, we'll get in. <laughs> even in some of the music. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> in some of the music I'm going to be releasing this year, um, not all the songs are personal. I'm also able to write about people's stories, like people's love stories where they gained love where they lost love where they lost everything because of love Mm. and yeah but those aren't my stories you know so i've always been able to write from a different perspective Mm. thankfully um so you as you mentioned this year (laughs) 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 finally mj is gonna give us something you guys are gonna get definitely what are we get more what are we getting you're gonna get music. Just know is, that it you're an, gonna get. is it an EP? Are we looking at singles? We don't know. We just gonna have to wait and see. But you're gonna get music. You absolutely gonna get music. Definitely. Okay. Um, have you worked on any? Is any? Uh, is there anything that's ready to go? If we were to say the world yeah. is ending in the end, um, let's say end of the weekend, and MJ has to put out songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I've 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 been in the studio. Okay, a lot of people that are in my social media mm. um that are actually like interested in what I post, they 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 see that I'm I'm always in the studio, constantly in the studio. It's just um I love to thoroughly and like critically work on my craft. So um I take it very very seriously. Um, as I as I would want any um, artist to you know do yeah. the same because like I told you I'm I'm an avid listener of music and I want someone to listen to mine and be like oh okay this is good this is a good quality this is this is so I I work extremely extremely hard in the studio I mean you said it yourself this other time um, that I actually do and it's just a matter of what I haven't been releasing it because yeah. I haven't seen or like felt the right time but this year is definitely the right time i feel like people will listen to the fruits of my labor um who have you been working with you just gonna have to wait and see come on let's name drop at least two names okay i'm gonna i've been working with a producer named narcos okay shout out Um, to narcos shout out to narcos um I'm going to name drop one more. Yeah, just one. Tantric. Okay, Tantric. He's Shout out to Tantric. Great producer. Yeah, I'm not going to give too much away, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll bring up something that you mentioned. Okay. On social media, on Twitter. <laughs> just the other day. Okay. Um, don't sweat yet. Um, I'll get to those. Okay. This is easy. Um, you said, I think it was yesterday... Two days back, you mm-hmm. said you had a great session with Mngobi. Mngobi. Yeah. Oh, no. Mngobi is my photographer, Mr. Oh, Clear. Mngobi okay. Zuma, I, Mr. Clear Because I was thinking, okay, maybe that's another person that you no, work with. No, 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 no. Mngobi Zuma, um, he's a great, great friend and a great Shout photographer. Shout out to Mngobi. Shout out to Mr. Clear. Mngobi See, I Zuma. just got you a shout out. She was about <laughs> to forget you. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Don't put me on the spot like that. Like, I'll be forgetting people. Mm. Yeah. Um. Okay, since we're on Twitter, I know you're a very vocal person on Twitter. Honestly, I just laugh. <laughs> I'm not that vocal. <laughs> people think I tweet a lot, but I'm always just laughing. I'm like, hey, Bugala. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, but but you, you, you do. Um, I'm very active on Twitter. You do sh- put in your your two cents worth from time to time in, in, in certain issues. Mm. One that, that comes to mind in particular 
is recently um well i well uh somebody like was trying to shame uh ari and tiana taylor and i think they tweeted about them having so much sex appeal but yet uh i don't know if i'm, I'm yeah. just quoting it right yeah but they you sort of made a reference that they looked like certain mm. people <laughs> i don't like even reference. saying this but like anyway mm. um uh, this person was basically talking bad about how ari and tiana, tiana taylor, taylor look have too much sex appeal or whatever <coughs> whatever whatever yeah um i remember exactly what i said yeah. and this is not the first time i've said it i s- i said well my main response was because Ari uh, had posted a, a a video, I think it was a live video. Yeah, and it was a live video. Somebody reposted the live video of Ari because people are always doing that. Mm. Um, she was basically saying that black women are always ridiculed. You know what I'm saying? Because you you could get someone like um, Ariana Grande, and you get um, other actresses and influencers like Paris Hilton, who are, who are heiresses, Taylor Swift, and another good example is Kim Kardashian. Mm. And nobody within their ethnicity or their culture or the males within their culture ridicule them because they know that they're living their best life and they're not about to judge them. So that's why I always say, the most disrespected human being in the planet is the black woman. Because it's like you're constantly being watched. You're always going to be ridiculed. Because a, a simple thing like, like uh, okay, let's say, let's say uh, Taylor Swift. If she were to wear like a bodysuit and she did the whole wet hair look and did like a photo shoot, it would be fine. We'd be like, oh, Taylor is sexy. Taylor is, you know, it would be like, more of a compliment from all spheres from all ethnicities whereas if you get someone like ari if she were to do the the same thing or the same type of shoots it would be a situation of oh no it's too revealing oh no why is her hair like that oh no you know Mm. and it's it's very draining because you get even males from our race and our cultures and ethnicities that say this so it's okay no as in mm-mm, this is a bit too much and then what's worse you also get males from other ethnicities like white people um indian people color people where it's like mm, mm, mm. there's no ways taylor swift can do it but when it's ari it's like it's a bit too much it's a bit too much mm-hmm. sex it's too much sex appeal when it's tiana it's too much sex appeal it's mm-hmm. like we always being watched, <laughs> <laughs> like you know. Um, yeah. Can I can I just come in there? You mm. know, I th- actually, I'm gonna say it so I can make my my point and just um, carry on with with this matter. Mm. It's. I think the rest of the tweet went that. Um, why is it that, T- uh, Tiana Taylor and Ari Lennox mm. have so much sex appeal? Um, but yet they look like a certain species of um, dogs, so to say. Yeah. And that was a black person who typed Who that. said a that? A black man typed. A black man said that. And I was like, you know, um, this goes back to one of the things that we always talk about here on this podcast is that why why do black people hate themselves so much? Yeah. Uh, I mean... If we don't appreciate ourselves or we don't appreciate people that look like us for who they are and how they and look how and, they how they are and how they themselves. live their lives, uh, who's going to appreciate us, mm. you know? And it's this continuous uh, um, continuous thing or trend of us hating. Hating on each other. Ha- hating this black image. And, and yeah. we, don't, we don't appreciate. We need to... It's time to change the way we define black beauty. Yeah. Um, because or beauty in general. Yeah. In, like beauty in general. Because if you were to do like a simple thing, like, um, I know I tried this once. I don't know why I tried it, but 
I wish I didn't. <laughs> I was I, um, I was on Google mm. and I was like, you know what, let me just Google this. And I Googled beautiful woman. Like something as simple as Googling beautiful woman. And you only see women of the Caucasian descent. Mm. And it's like media is so powerful. And I think that's one of the things that our community has consumed. Because mm. we've always been in a position where we had to like follow or whatever. So maybe the whole following thing comes naturally. But yeah, that's where I was saying, Guti, not just black beauty, but beauty in general. Because there's so many spheres and so many shapes and, and sizes mm. and, 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 and. But yeah. Just to go back to what you were also saying about um, how it was like the black person who actually tweeted that and, you know, that thing of that sort. It goes back to what I said. We would see the world's most disrespected person is the black woman. Because yeah. not only are we being disrespected by males of other cultures and females of other like races and cultures, but we being disrespected by our own men. Mm. And and not only that, but you know the this these people that we're talking about, those are prominent figures of, yeah. of the global black community. Yeah, those are the people that we should be celebrating because they represent yes, who yes. we are. And but yet you, we, here we are, we're the ones that te- that, that are, are tearing, tearing them down. You know, I I would, I'll tell you something simple. You know, um, if you look at public figures, male black public figures. Mm. They are mostly widely celebrated by all black females. All the time. All the time. Irrespective of the way they look. I mean, I can mention a few dudes that yeah. women that women find very attractive. Um mm. but yet uh you never hear anything negative being said about them. About their their physical their appearance. Their physical appearance, how they look, the, how, they, the how they choose to live their lives. Um yeah. Yeah, they just celebrate it even in the midst of their imperfections. And I think that's the same thing that should be done for black women, mm. especially. We, we, pu- we, pu- we put so much pressure on black women uh, by wanting them to conform to some sort of, I don't know. Yeah, fi- uh, what you want, what fictional, people want. Fictional standards. Yeah. <laughs> which are unrealistic. And I mean, Sorry. and then you find like, you know, if you go back and you look at why you know most some men w- do complain about women um, that wear wigs or wheels yeah uh, like then I, then I, <laughs> I, no I, I i have an answer for that yeah it's because you us as the black men um mm. the way we view beauty it's not that uh, it's not an image of a black of a pure black woman. Yeah. So why do we expect women to now conform, yeah, conform to what we say is right when actually in reality we don't subscribe to that. Exactly. Um me, uh black men will chase after um women with flowy hair and they won't look at a wo- they'll hardly look at a woman that's rocking an afro short yeah. hair oh short hair you know <laughs> instead of um appreciating that they want to have some comment some negative comment to say about that oh you look like a dude yeah <laughs> oh I'm, gagging, man. I'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> bro i never bro go with short hair i need me a little bounce a little you know so i i just feel like we we as the black men we confuse black females just respect the choices. Yes. If I decide to wear a weave, I'm going to decide to wear it. It doesn't... I'm not my hair. Yeah. I'm not my makeup. If you like me, you're going to like me. Uh. And you're going to respect me. That's true. And If I decide to rock my hair short, if I decide to rock an afro, because that's another... Be- uh, ha- hair is another aspect. Yeah. That's another beautiful thing. Black women can change it up, whatever. That's why I'm like, I'm not my hair. Yeah. You don't know. Tomorrow you could wake up with long hair. No, look, it's no big size. I was in the dreadlocks. You don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I'm not my hair. Respect mm. my choice. Mm. This is my hair. So, um, any besides the music, mm. do you see yourself doing anything within the 
let's say entertainment business uh honestly right now no uh, do you you don't think you'd cut it as an actor I used to do drama in high school. I've been told I'm. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 I've been told I'm good, you know. But um, should that time come, I probably I'll make like a decision for myself whether I want to or not. But mm. right now, I'm like fairly focused on music. Okay. Um, like if I go into other avenues like fashion, I know I'm also really into like makeup. So if I go into like other avenues like beauty or becoming the face of something. Mm. Hey Revlon, what hey. do you do? Hey Revlon. Hey Revlon. Your girl's out here. Um, hey Clinique. <laughs> I'm out here. <laughs> <laughs> She's already <laughs> using the products. <laughs> yes, <laughs> already. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's certain things like that because it's gonna get to a point. Well, I'm hoping it gets to, it gets to that point in my career. Um, yeah, but right now it's the music. Mm. Like I said, it's my first love. Mm. And um. Do we can we get a date to when to expect music? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm just being silly. Um, no. Come I mean, on. I'm still no. Seriously, I'm also still thinking of dates and months, and okay, I'm, so I'm still trying what to organize what's that. What's 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 still missing from? from from what you're working on a couple more songs okay. um so you a few so harmonies so need by, to be so by added. that that means you going to put out a full project so it's not i didn't say i'm gonna pull out you a did say you're missing a few songs yeah a few you songs you wouldn't miss it. how do you know i'm not gonna release three singles in one day what's gonna happen okay what's gonna <laughs> happen <laughs> I'm just saying. but um yeah um i just want to be sure mm. i know they're they're good songs but i know their potential um is of a phenomenal any features level. i'm gonna be having features i'm not sure about them as yet mm. they're not confirmed or they're not they're not confirmed um but i'm hoping that they will be mm. Mm. um so who's managing you right now? my manager's name oh, bless his heart uh his name is kelly yeah um, he's he does the admin work. He works very hard in pushing MJ Summers and just my brand in general. And he's he's grooming me. Mm. Um, that's what I like growth. People that help me grow. Um, yeah, we work very very well together. He understands my vision, and I just tell him where I want to be, and then uh, we think of the steps of how we're gonna get there. Like. Something as simple as writing a 12-month plan or like a year plan. It's okay, in this month we're going to do this, that, and that, and that, in terms of photo shoots and video shoots and, 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 and. So, um, yeah, there's just, there's a whole lot of MJ Summers coming in 2020. I've been working. Well, Y'all going to see that I've yeah, been working. Yeah, we need to see that ASAP. Mm. Well, um, f- f- this is me. I'm just speaking for myself mm. purely. I just feel like, you know, we've been waiting. <laughs> I know, I know, but you won't be waiting. Come on, dude. You won't be waiting any no, longer. You, that's the, the thing is, you're so talented and your music is great. Oh, and thank you. But <laughs> thank you. We are saying Nisha MJ music. We are saying Nisha. Guys, I appeal to this year. 2020 is like the 2020 vision. You Look, swear. Out. We're going to hold you to this. Out. Okay. Out. Let's do by June, are we going to have anything? Ah, oh, guys. Come on. Why are you trying to get the date, though? The year is so <laughs> fresh. Because I want to put pressure on you. Because I want to make sure that you... You, you Look, know, you know, just you, know. Listen, listen, MJ. Listen. I've known you for now, like, you know, um, since couple last year. A couple of months. A couple of months. Uh, let's say s- <laughs> four, five, four, five. And, and there's one thing I, I'm, I'm going to tell you. Is you underestimate yourself. What? Yeah. Come on. The, uh, I'm serious, dude. I'm serious. You were thinking, you, I don't know if you're too much of a perfectionist, or, <laughs> or, but like, I do. I'd I, never do that. I'd I, never be a perfectionist. No, I know there's nothing perfect. The thing, the thing is, the thing is, I've heard a few joints. <coughs> yeah. Which are great. I wonder from who. Obviously. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to expose anyone. <laughs> 
I don't want to. Yeah. Expo- I don't want to expose anyone. And and I'm 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 uh, f- off of that. Just off of me knowing those few joints mm. that you don't have out now. Mm. And when I heard those, I'm like, Yo, you know, J- MJ could have this out circulating. You know, yeah. people enjoying it, getting more of MJ. And they will. This year in particular. Give us a date. <coughs> I'm not giving anyone a date. Knees or wood. June. You're going to see it. July. I'm going to be like, I'm going to be in there like somewhere. Come on. It's on like Donkey Kong. Don't worry about it. We're going to get music. Oh, it has 12 months, MJ. Oh, knees or taller. But I've been working the whole of last year. You're going to get music. And I'm still working. Okay. So we're going to get more than one project. I'm so happy about projects. I never said anything about no projects. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for the music. Who knows? Maybe they will be. Maybe they won't. Maybe maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> I don't mm. know. We have to see. Uh, uh, and, and as far as those features are concerned, any other features that you would like to add this year? No, I see. You're trying to make me reveal. No, I'm not. Yeah, you, I'm not. Don't reveal the ones that you potentially could have. Uh, now I'm talking about the ones that are not in the plan, so to speak. So we're just putting it out there in the universe and, you know. Putting it out there? Yeah. Okay, if I'm going to put something out there in the universe, I'm going to be working with Ayanda Chia one day, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Like. <coughs> That's coming. That's definitely I'd, I'd coming. I'd love to hear that. That's Elaine something. as well. Shekinah. Come on. Rouge. <sighs> Come on. Rouge, dude. Come on. Can I speak about Rouge? She's like... Oh. I don't even know what to She's say. in her own lane. Exactly. Just, I, don't know, I don't know what Rouge she's is doing, smashed. but whatever it is that she's doing, she must keep doing it. <coughs> I've always been a big fan of Rouge. I've always been like, yo, watch out. So Ever Rouge, since Rouge uh, you, can, you, you can trust me. It, you have somebody <laughs> to work with, please. <laughs> Please. Come on, put Pre- me on, bro. Put me on. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, maybe, man. maybe she she can start putting on some things. Come on. Cause I uh, I don't know what you're waiting I for. I will. I will. Twenty twenty is di- like yo. Twenty. Am I re- like you don't trust me that do much know, do anymore? You, do you know how short a year is, MJ? I know. I'm well aware. It's very short. I'm well aware. You're still gonna get music, without a doubt. I know this. I've planned this. Okay. I will execute the plan. But do you do you know this is a, a promotion platform? Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, are you aware of that? I'm aware. I'm aware. I'm so aware. I mean, it, it's it the would, GNPS, baby. It would Come be. On. It would be a, a great place to tell people. Oh, hey, listen. I'm gonna be working with the general. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm somewhere. Is this you, Loki, asking for a feature? <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I had to go all the way around. No? <laughs> since, since you don't want to mention who oh. you're working with, uh, I just put myself in there. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to be working with General Engineer. Yeah, I'm going to be... No, 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 I'm not going to be singing. I'm going to be doing a skit. <laughs> what to do? Come all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. Um, I wasn't singing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be there, guys. You heard it. You heard it, Chef. <laughs> General is gonna be featuring on MJ's latest project in 2020. It's not a joke. I who said it was a project? <laughs> hey, Musa. Oh, come on. Okay. So if it's not a project, that means you're gonna you gotta at least give you're us see. at least five singles. I'll see what feels right. That's me telling you to put that in. Yeah, MJ will see what feels right. I'm just saying, Sipone. Okay, <laughs> okay, MJ. Okay, if that's how you wanna do it, it's fine. Oh come on. Any okay, other than um, finishing up your 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 course and. Obviously, mm. putting out music. Mm. What else can we expect from MJ in 2020? Um, I'm hoping there will be some catalog work, mm. maybe some clothing work, but we'll see. We'll get there. Mm. Those things are still like in the works. 
So, but um, but yeah, there's a lot, and obviously performances in between. Mm. Um, mm. Hey, there's a there's also a lot that I'm yet to discover and yet to look forward to mm. that I'm still praying for. Um, By the way, for people that don't know, you're an independent artist. Yes, I am. You're not signed. Nope. Any plans of being signed? Not right now. No. Not right now. Sorry, guys. Uh-uh. So sorry. Mm-mm. All the record labels out there, sorry. <laughs> She's not ready. Why are you, why are you apologizing <laughs> to the record labels? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's an A&R who's watching this like, yo. Hey, you know you know what? I'm, I'm not ready mm. for that kind of commitment right now. Yeah. So um, I'm still enjoying my independence. There's a lot that goes into being in a label. Mm-hmm. And who knows, maybe I might not ever be in one. Mm. That's the plan. Mm. Might be independent forever. Might. Yeah, I mean, why would you want to share all this greatness? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my gosh. (laughs) What was that? Why would you want to share this greatness? (laughs) Come on. I mean, you've been blessed though. Yeah. You share it enough by putting out music. Mm. You know, you ain't got to... Thank you, thank you. You you ain't got to bring people in on the... Are the benefits. See now you <laughs> shutting out the A and R's. See that ain't me. Now you shutting out the A and R's. No, how do you know? I'm just I'm just making way for myself. <laughs> I can be. <laughs> Ayo, cut it. General, We're done. General <laughs> Junior <laughs> record label <laughs> coming up in 2021. Best what artist. do I do? <laughs> you know what, bro? Just cut it. Cut it. Or maybe we can we can team up. We could open a record label. Who knows, hey? Yeah. Who knows? Uh, and MJ Summers is going to be our first artist. Who knows of the possibilities, hey? Maybe our so only artist. Yeah. Issue. If she's wrecking it in, though. Come if on. she ain't making money. What you then. mean? I'm finna be wrecking <laughs> it in. Stacks on stacks on stacks. <laughs> Grind. Until I'm really, really rich. Okay. Since you don't want to tell me or tell us when are we going to get good uh, some good music from MJ Summers. Let me put you on the spot and ask you to give us a low a cappella to close this off as we're signing out. We ran out of time, guys. Of one of my songs? N- any. Uh-uh. Any. I'm not going to sing any one of my songs. Okay. So uh, that's the thing. We've established that you don't want us to hear your music yet. Yes. But oh, thankfully, you have your voice here with you. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's here with me. I don't think it's here. Sorry, guys. I think you need a sip of that water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have my words. So <laughs> we, we're going to do something that we don't do regularly. I've had hip-hop artists come here, rappers mm. come here, and they sit in front of the mic. And people have been asking me to ask people to do what they do, mm. especially when we have artists. Mm. Um, okay, okay. So I, I, it's 2020. We do things a little differently. Let's MJ... Okay. Set the tone for 2020. Oh, okay. Uh, can we get an a cappella of, yeah, your, uh, yeah, of sure. any track of your choice? If you don't have any, I have one for you. <laughs> Eba, let me hear it, Carl. Let me hear Uguti. Mm, 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 mm. We spoke about it. Ari. That's, that's the least I can do. Oh, uh, BMO. Yeah. Yeah. Can we get a, can you get a, an a cappella a BMO a cappella? Tiny, to close do, us off? tiny, do you want to uh, do you want to help me? Wait, 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 wait. But before, before, before. Is it time for the salmon? I will buy. I will buy. Tiny, I'm joking. Let's do this. Let's do this. We we ready, MJ. Oh gosh. Their body's on fire. Oh, love me long till you get tired. Oh, baby, you got what I want. And you's a real one, I'm inspired. Uh. Break me off. Higgy, jiggy, chia, yeah, when the lights is off. I'm summertime, crushing, put that game on pause. Ain't do it how I like it, baby, nice and slow. 
Break me off. Hey, get you, get you, yeah, yeah, when the lights is off. I'm summertime, girl, she put that game on pause. Hey, do it how I like it, baby, nice and slow. My knees get weak when you touch me. Body is you saying sex game stupid. Their body's on fire. <laughs> oh, come on, give it go. <laughs> ah, you have to see, you have to see, you have to see. You have to see. <laughs> thank you, thank you, MJ. Um, thank you, thank you for having me. It's thank you, girl. thank you for coming through. Uh, Thank that you was, for having that me. That was a blessing. I had a good time. Yeah. It's always a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, she asked me not to say this, but I'll say it since we're at the end. We this is actually the third time we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> it is, hey. And hopefully But third time's you know, a charm. Yeah. Third uh, time's definitely a charm. And it's a third time. It's also a first time. But it's not a last time. Come on. <laughs> So you're definitely going to be seeing more of MJ on this podcast. More and more and more. The girl with the crooked smile. Yeah, finally. But though, before she comes back, she needs to put out some music. So that's a requirement. She can't escape. As in the ring, I keep me like, <laughs> Then you're not coming back. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm we'll, joking. I'm we'll joking. Do, we'll do that three fake podcasts with you. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> No, I'm gonna put out more I'm music. Kidding, I'm kidding, MJ. I wanna put out more music. Um otherwise, where can people find your music? Where people can find you for bookings? Mm. You know, just to see MJ on a regular basis. Um uh for bookings, uh you can it's uh, it's actually all on my social media. So there's there's Kelly Creatives uh email dot co dot za. There's um yeah, there's my Instagram. My inst- on Instagram, I'm MJ dot Summers X. On Twitter, I'm MJ underscore Summers X. On Facebook, I'm MJ Summers. If you need to book me, you need to, you know, speak to me about something. All the details are there. You can find my music on all digital platforms. My single "Too Good for That" featuring Judas Sound. Um, yeah. Shout out. Um, and I'll definitely update you guys on any upcoming gigs and. Just follow my social media. You know everything. Mm. Um, uh, just in closing, mm. uh, I mean, you you were a female with a lot of words. I know. Very wise words on top of that. Oh, wow. So um, <laughs> if there's any advice you'd like to share or just, you know, something that comes from MJ or Minente, which... Uh, I forgot to tell you, that's a real name, guys. That's my real name, Minente. Yeah. The, those, those are governments. <laughs> <laughs> Put out my government name. <laughs> cats <laughs> out the bag. <laughs> the cats out the bag. Yeah. I'm not embarrassed. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. <laughs> Minet Lindaba. That's yes. a name. Minet Lindaba. Um, so, yeah. Um, what did I want to say? What was I talking about before I said that? Oh my God. I forgot. <coughs> Shit. Oh, you were asking if I had like any advice. Oh yeah, or, uh, I knew it was something like important. Like for female artists or just any, in general? Anyone. You could you could go. You could stick to females. You could just be general. Um, okay. Or both. Well, I think the best thing you can do is just be yourself. Mm. It's easier said than done, but be yourself. You know. Mm. At it literally, that's the. As cliche as it as it can be, in this type of world where everything is almost fake mm. or fake, um, the best thing you can possibly do is just be yourself. Mm. People respect that. People respect the way you carry yourself as yourself. Mm. Wow! Thank you, MJ. No problem. It's been real. Uh, you can follow the podcast on Instagram at GNPS underscore podcast. You could follow me on Instagram at General underscore Ingeniela. You mm-hmm. can follow me on Twitter at General underscore Ingenie. You can follow my homeboy Tiny at Tiny Films underscore. You know what it does. You know what we do. <laughs> oh, just Sorry. a quick announcement. Um, guys, um, but we, we're expanding. We're kind of expanding. So if you have videographer cinematographer uh photographer well no we have a lot of photographers yeah, sorry, sorry sorry 
But yeah, if if you have any skills in editing, more to say. Not um, we'd love to hit us up. You know, we might have something for you. We're not paying because we're not making money yet. <laughs> Focus on the yet. No, let's never mind the yet. We're not making money. Period. <laughs> okay. Um. So, but if you have any editing skills and you live in Durban. You're willing to join the crew? Hit us up because we're expanding. As I said, we're going to be adding more podcasts on the mm. General Engineer TV channel. So um, Tiny needs some help. Um, he's somebody you could learn from, you could work with, or you could teach him something if you know something that he doesn't know. We are that bunch that loves learning. Mm. Uh, other than that, it's been real. Catch us next time. Peace and love, y'all. Peace and love. Spread love. Peace out. Okay, I'll let you hear that. Just let MJ take us out. <laughs> Too bad I can't sing. You could sing us out, MJ. Uh-uh. Come on, it's your... It's they'll, they'll see, they'll see. <laughs> they heard from the song. <laughs> <laughs>